welcome to St. Anthony's Catholic Church, Walport. This is Friday morning, First Friday, November 6, 2020, where our special intentions today are for the deceased Martha Ducart and for Phil Relatos, who died last night. Our opening hymn, All the Ends of the Earth, verses 1 and 2. God given us for his glory for these times. Let us ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ Jesus, you call us to follow you. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faith will offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We await a Savior who will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Jesus. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven. And from it, we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decrees for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. benefit. Yes. Yeah. So why is it good? 
Okay, he's thinking ahead for himself. Okay, but why did Jesus praise them for that? Is it that maybe sometimes we need to look out for ourselves? So you should be selfish once in a while, you Jim. Well, not necessarily selfish, but uh, yeah, no, there's some things you have to decide what's best for yourself. I don't know. I'm you're on a slippery slope, uh, yeah, Shirley. Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> what's best for yourself? I'm sure there are people who embezzle a lot of money would say, "Yes, that's best for me." Embezzle. <laughs> That my trust, you know, to, to embezzle the company money, my boss's money. Yeah, right. So, why is Jesus praising him? He was being prudent with his generation. He's like saying, you know, his friends. He is being clever for his future, for his life. The bigger principle here is not the cheating from the master, but he's, the, he's using the cleverness, his own cleverness, for his benefit. But in a way, He's been a steward, not only the master's property, but, but his own life. So the bigger principle here is that he's, concer he's concerned for his life. So he's thinking in a clever way to save his bacon. And all life too. We are stewards of the, the things that we have in the world, the business we have, our house property. But you know what's, what's big, the bigger stewardship that we are involved with, that we have to be in charge of? Our soul, our very life, the decision we make impacts it, impacts our future. Because the bigger big picture for us in the, in, the, in the scheme of eternity is to be forever with God. And how we, the decision we make here on earth, the financial resources we have, Jesus is telling us to use wisely so that we may be assured our place at the heavenly banquet. And sometimes, you know, in life, it's very easy sometimes to forget the God, the gifts that God has given us, especially sometimes when we feel misfortune fall upon us. There was a young woman when she was a teenager. She's a pianist, a really accomplished one. Well, she worked, she lived on the farm, and apparently her arm fell into the meat grinder. Yes. As you know, for those who play the piano, Fingers are kind of important, yes. but because her, her her left hand fell into the meat grinder, went into the meat grinder, she lost three fingers. And of course, you know, when you lose a finger by the meat grinder, you're not going to get it back. There's no way to get that thing back. So all she had in her left hand was just two fingers. And of course, a full hand in this one, thank God. But so it's a bit challenging to play the piano from then on. So what do you think she did? Yes, yeah, she's a teacher. But think about it. Her fingers are taken away from her. Extremely valuable for a pianist, you know, for her. that's extremely valuable. But in a way, because of this loss of the finger, she's also not only a piano teacher, but she's also a teacher of the of how to persevere. The bigger important lesson in life is, you know, even when things get tough, you make do what you got. You can't give up. Yeah, you can't give up. You can't give up. Sure, it'd be a challenge. I can imagine playing with two fingers, you know, playing the bass part with only two fingers. There'll be limits to what you can do because yes. obviously you only got two fingers to do which, you know, what a person, what a what normal person can do with five fingers. You only got two. It's going to be a challenge. But you know her, what she's gone through, imagine what the effect, the inspiration she has on her students. Imagine when the student says, well, I don't think I can do that. Well, you know, well, look at, look at if you think I can do this with two hands. You, you got five fingers. I mean, two fingers, I got only got two fingers. You got five fingers. Who do you think is, has more, is a little bit is easier to do? And you know, sometimes in life, God allows misfortune to happen to us, to allow each other to inspire one another. You know, I'm, each and every one of us has given the great gift. You know, one of the things as part of the pastor installation ceremony, if you may recall, 
is that they give the pastor, a new pastor, a basket. And, you know, symbolically, this is the resource of the parish. Now, it's up to you as steward, as a pastor of this parish, to take care of, of the resource of this parish, the material things, the buildings, etc. But you know, for me, the biggest, the most important, what the parish represent? The people. It's the people. That's the bigger, bigger responsibility to me. Yes, the buildings are important. We need the buildings and all that stuff. The pews and everything else to be up running. But it's the people. That's ultimately, that's what the parish is supposed to serve. And our life, ultimately, the things we have in our house and the things we have, cars, etc. What is it ultimately for? Service. It's to for service. It's to, to bring glory to God, bring glory to His name, to help one, each, one another. It's a tool, ultimately, for our salvation. And the choice of to ultimately each to us, to, to each of us each and every day. How do we use the resources that God has given us? And so today, my brothers and sisters, I just invite you to look in your own, into your own heart, your own life. The gift that God has given you. Even the gift sometimes you may not think as a gift. You, you know, I, and sometimes I look at you guys, I'm thinking, boy, I don't know. For me, it just seems amazing. Sometimes you may not see it as a gift when you're blind, when you're crippled. But I don't know about you, but when I look at a person with that kind of obvious disability, you know, I think to myself, boy, if they can do, carry on and do what they do, it makes me, it makes it a little bit hard for me to say, you know, I feel sorry for myself that I can't do that. And that's a, a, a wonderful inspiration, a wonderful gift that that person teaches not only me, but also each and every one of us in our life. Trusting in God's goodness and love, let us turn to now all our needs and all the needs of the world. For Pope Francis, for Alexander, our bishop, and all our priests, bishops, and deacons, may God's grace be upon them to help them to lead and guide their people to everlasting life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray that each and every one of us may use wisely the gifts that God has given us in our life, that in doing so, may we bring glory to his name. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all the prayers and concerns and worries that lie deep in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us also pray for all our brothers and sisters who have God before us, trusting in the Lord's love and mercy, especially for those who are listed in the Book of Remembrance and for our recently departed, Phil Regatos. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving, compassionate Father, accept the prayers of your family gathered here. Help each and every one of us, Lord, to turn to you, that in doing so, may we experience your love and your mercy. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before, shelter me, O God. 464.
Pray, dearly beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the Holy Church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the wickedness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominion, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as if our end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Alexander, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heir to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him and in him. O oh God, Almighty oh Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other sacrifice. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord. Act of spiritual communion. Jesus, thank, thank you for you coming into our hearts. We welcome you and unite ourselves to you. Strengthen us in your love as we await the day we are reunited at the Eucharistic table. Amen. Our communion song is number 725, Blessed Are They. God bless you, Father. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promised through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Once again, I just want to thank you for so much 
for your contribution to the parish, so financial and prayer to support us through this tough time together. November, an Advent issue of Word Among Us in front of the church and my Asian market in Newport. And remember during the month of November, remember during the month of November, we remember all our departed brothers and sisters. With that in mind, if you have people you would like to remember at Mass, if we include in the Book of Remembrance, email the list of the people you would like to remember. You can email as much as you want. I mean, the number of much numbers you want, uh, number of people. So, because we're going to re record it in the Book of Remembrance, so that we during the month of November when we celebrate together, Mass together, we'll pray for all these people. So, I just want to invite you to do that. Just email your list to the parish. Also, remember. If you'd like to join us for daily mass, please email the office. Daily mass is from Monday to Thursday at 4 p.m. And remember, each Saturday at 4 p.m., we have our online mass, a Zoom mass. So if you'd like to join a live mass online, click on our webpage and, or on Facebook at that time at 4 p.m. each Saturday. Remember, if you'd like to make an appointment for confession, please email me. My email address is on the, our webpage and on the back of the bulletin. And if you have not been receiving email notice, but would like to receive email notice and our online bulletin, email us. Let us know that you uh, that you like to do that. We'll be happy to e give you, put you on our mailing list. Remember, each Bi each Wednesday we have Bible study at three p.m. Join us for that. And remember, we also have adoration online also for you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our closing hymn is number 616, We Are Called. 616.
Oh, oh.